Rain pattered against the warped window pane of the raven's roost, a rhythm as unsteady as the unease gnawing at Kieran's insides. Across from him, the old woman known only as Sildis chuckled, a dry rasp that sounded like crackling embers. You fret too much, lad, she said, her voice barely louder than the downpour drumming against the ramshackle inn. The dim candlelight flickered across her wrinkled face, casting dancing shadows over the ancient tattoos that snaked along her arms. The Emberthorn Codex awakens to those who seek it, not the other way around. Kieran chewed on his lip, unable to shake the lingering image of the tome buried within the ruins of Ashlar City. The crimson sigil etched onto its cover, pulsing with an ethereal light, had haunted his dreams ever since Sildis told him about its existence, a legend whispered only amongst those who dared to delve into the forbidden depths of lore. But what if I'm not worthy? Kieran finally blurted out, his voice barely audible over the storm raging outside. What if the Codex rejects me? He had spent years honing his skills as a rune carver, poring over ancient texts and mastering the intricate dances of elemental magic. Yet, facing the possibility of being deemed unworthy by an artifact of such immense power filled him with a bone-deep dread. Sildis' eyes glittered with amusement. Worthiness is not a quality bestowed upon one, she said, her voice carrying a wisdom that belied her frail form. It's forged in the crucible of desire, tempered by the fires of sacrifice. She leaned forward, her gaze piercing his soul. Tell me, Kiran, she asked softly, what drives you to seek the Emberthorn Codex? Kiran hesitated, searching for the right words. It wasn't just a thirst for knowledge or a longing to unravel ancient mysteries that fueled him. A shadow had fallen upon his village, a creeping despair that seeped into their laughter and stole their joy. Crop rot had rendered land barren, animals grew ill, and whispers of dark magic lingered in the wind. Could the Codex hold the key to reversing this blight? Was he the one chosen to wield its power, to pull his people from the brink of ruin? I seek the heart of the storm, Kiran finally said, his voice gaining strength with each uttered word, to find a cure for the darkness that threatens my home. Sildas smiled, a genuine warmth radiating from her lined face. Then your journey has already begun, child, she said, her voice resonating with an ancient power. The Emberthorn Codex awaits. A shiver ran down Kiran's spine as he met her gaze, his youthful fervour hardening into a resolute determination. He knew the path ahead would be fraught with peril, but a flicker of hope blossomed within him, fueled by the stories whispered in hushed tones, by ancient prophecies, and by the unwavering conviction that he could save his people. The storm raged on outside, a tempest foreshadowing the trials yet to come, but Kieran felt a stirring within him, a warmth that mirrored the pulsing crimson sigil of the Emberthorn Codex waiting to be unlocked. The morning mist clung to Ashlar City like a shroud, obscuring its once grand spires and leaving only skeletal remnants of what had been a bustling hub. A stark, wind-swept landscape stretched before Kieran, a desolate wasteland mirroring the despair that gripped his village. This is what the darkness brings, Sildis murmured beside him, her voice barely audible above the mournful sigh of the wind whistling through crumbling arches. Its touch is insidious, choking the life from everything it touches. Kiran nodded grimly, tracing a calloused finger along the worn surface of his staff, a memento of his late father, a renowned runecaster who had always taught him to face adversity with unwavering courage. Beside him, Sildis held her own weathered walking stick, carved with ancient symbols that hummed faintly with unseen energy. The Codex is said to be within these ruins, she continued, tapping the staff against the ground. But be warned, child, its power resonates with those who possess pure intent. The darkness will try to twist your desire, tempt you with false promises of ease. Kieran's grip tightened on his staff. He had learned early in life the seductive allure of power, but he vowed to never succumb to such temptations. My village needs me, he said firmly, meeting Sildis's gaze with unwavering conviction. I will not be swayed. Sildis inclined her head, a glimmer of approval in her eyes. Then let us begin. She gestured towards the ruins ahead. The path is fraught with peril, but do not fear, Kieran. The Codex calls to those who are brave, and you have already proven your courage. As they walked deeper into the heart of Ashlar, 
they encountered twisted remains of ancient structures, shattered monuments to a bygone era where magic flowed freely. The air grew heavy with the stench of decay, and a palpable silence hung over everything. Kiran could sense the darkness Sildas spoke of, a suffocating presence that seemed to coil around them like icy fingers. Shadows danced at the edges of his vision, whispering insidious doubts, tempting him to abandon his quest. He knew he had to remain vigilant, to focus on his purpose, and resist the seductive promises of despair. Sildas marched ahead with steady steps, her ancient staff tapping rhythmically against the cobblestones, keeping a watchful eye on Kiran. Her presence was a beacon of strength, dispelling some of the oppressive fear that clung to them like a damp fog. They finally came upon a massive archway, its once vibrant carvings now eroded and scarred as if by relentless storms. A faint ethereal glow emanated from within, drawing them forward with an irresistible allure. Sildis paused momentarily, her eyes narrowed as she scrutinized the space beyond the archway. We are here, she said softly, her voice carrying a mix of trepidation and anticipation. The heart of the ruins, where legend says the Codex awaits. Kieran swallowed, his heart pounding. This was it, the culmination of weeks of preparation, a perilous journey fueled by hope for his village's future. He drew a deep breath, steeling himself against the encroaching darkness and stepped towards the archway. The faint glow intensified, bathing him in an otherworldly light that seemed to pulsate with ancient power. The heart of the ruined city pulsed with a strange energy. Ancient stone hummed beneath Kieran's feet, whispering secrets lost to time as they ventured deeper into the bowels of Ashlar. Glowing veins of amethyst shimmered through fractured walls, illuminating dust motes that danced like phantoms in the wan light, filtering from overhead openings choked with debris. The Codex doesn't simply choose its seeker, Sildis murmured, her voice carrying a resonance that seemed to echo off unseen chamber walls. It responds to intent, to the purity of purpose burning within. She turned to Kiran, her eyes, like chips of polished obsidian, scrutinizing his face. Are you prepared to offer such purity, Kiran? Sweat prickled on Kiran's brow. He shifted nervously, adjusting the grip on his staff. It's my village, he said, his voice catching slightly. I can't let darkness consume it. I, I have to try. Sildis nodded, a ghost of a smile curving her lips. To truly try is different from simply wishing. It requires sacrifice, Kiran. Are you willing to make that offering? Kiran swallowed. Images of his village, the children playing in sun-dappled fields, his mother's warm laughter as she wove baskets, the comforting smell of roasting crops, flashed before him. I've already sacrificed so much, he whispered. He thought of loved ones lost to the encroaching blight, their faces etched with a terror that chilled his heart. What you have experienced, Sildas said softly, her voice laced with understanding, has only illuminated your path, Kiran. The true tests lie ahead. She gestured onward. The Codex awaits deep within. Are you ready to face it? A tremor of fear ran through him, but beneath it burned a fierce determination. He took a deep breath, meeting Sildas' gaze with newfound resolve. Yes, he said, his voice firm. I'm ready. They moved forward into the city's crumbling heart, leaving the faintest echoes of their footsteps in the stillness. Shadows stretched and danced around them, taking on sinister shapes in the ethereal glow that seemed to intensify with every step they took. Then, ahead, a brilliant light shimmered through an archway, encrusted with ancient runes. A wave of warmth washed over Kiran, bringing with it a sense of ancient power humming just beneath the surface. Before him, nestled within the heart of the ruined city, lay the Codex, its presence palpable, its secrets waiting to be unveiled. The archway throbbed with a palpable energy as Kiran and Sildis approached. Runes blazed with an inner light, casting intricate patterns on the moss-covered stones surrounding the entrance. A wave of heat emanated from within, like a breath held captive for centuries, waiting to be unleashed. It senses you, Sildis murmured, her obsidian eyes reflecting the pulsating light. The Codex calls to those with purpose. Karen drew in a deep breath trying to quell the rising tide of fear within him. His hand tightened around the hilt of his worn staff, its familiar weight grounding him amidst the burgeoning power surrounding them. Are you ready? Sildis asked, placing a gloved hand on his shoulder, the warmth radiating through her touch surprisingly comforting. 
He swallowed hard. The words caught in his throat as if his courage were trapped within, unable to speak its own truth. His village, filled with familiar laughter and the scent of baking bread, was now overrun by shadows. He could still see the faces etched with terror, feel the icy grip of despair that had seeped into their lives. The Codex held the promise of breaking that hold, a chance at redemption for his people. Yes, Kiran rasped, finding his voice at last. I am ready. He stepped through the archway, leaving behind the familiar shadows and into a blinding light. The world shifted around him. The crumbling stone arches dissolved into soaring structures of iridescent crystal, pulsating with an inner light. A vast chamber unfolded, bathed in hues that swirled and danced like flames under a gentle current. It hummed with power, resonating deep within his bones. In the centre, levitated by strands of ethereal energy, rested a book bound in blackened leather, its pages whispering secrets on the air. The Codex. Sildis walked beside him, her footsteps silent against the crystalline floor. Approach it, she said, her voice laced with a reverence that sent shivers down Kiran's spine. Let it know your intent. He reached out, his hand trembling slightly as he touched the cover. A surge of energy raced through him, vivid visions flashing behind his eyelids. Scenes of war, loss, and sacrifice played out in quick succession, leaving him gasping for air. He saw himself wielding a blazing staff against creatures of darkness, felt the weight of responsibility settle heavily upon his shoulders. When he pulled back, his vision blurs, and the world pulsed with a brighter light. He looked at Sildis, her obsidian eyes filled with an enigmatic warmth. It has accepted you, she said softly. Now, what will you do with its power? The Codex hummed with ancient power, its pages turning of their own accord as Kieran traced the intricate patterns etched into its leather cover. A heady fragrance of cinnamon and aged parchment filled the air, mingling with the faint metallic tang that seemed to emanate from the very core of the crystalline chamber. It feels alive, Kieran murmured, his voice laced with a mixture of awe and trepidation. Sildis tilted her head, a thoughtful expression flickering across her features beneath the hood of her cloak. It is, in a way, a repository of knowledge both profound and perilous. To wield its power requires understanding, not just ambition. Understand? But how? Kieran gestured to the swirling, luminescent script that seemed to writhe on the page before them. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Sildis nodded her obsidian eyes gleaming with an inner light that pulsed in sync with the Codex's energy. Indeed, the Emberthorn language is ancient, woven from starlight and the very essence of magic itself. It requires a different kind of receptiveness. She reached out and laid a gloved hand on Kieran's shoulder. The Codex has chosen you, Kieran. Its power resonates with your purpose. Trust your instincts, feel its energy flow through you. It will reveal its secrets in time. Kiran took a deep breath, the weight of her words settling upon him like a mantle. He looked down at his calloused hands, tracing their familiar lines. He had always been a farmer, a simple man rooted to the earth. Suddenly, he felt woefully inadequate, facing a power that was beyond comprehension. But what if I fail? The question slipped out before he could stop it, echoing through the cavernous chamber. What if I cannot understand its language, cannot harness its power? Sildis raised a hand, silencing his fears with a gentle gesture. Failure is not an option, Kiran, for the fate of your village hangs in the balance, but even the brightest star begins as a flicker. Courage does not mean the absence of fear, but acting despite it. She met his gaze, her voice firm yet tender. The Codex will guide you, but only if you are willing to be guided. Believe in yourself, Kiran. Her words resonated deep within him, stirring a spark of determination in his heart. He would not let fear paralyze him. He had to try, for his people, for his home. Gazing back at the Codex, its pulse thrumming with promise and peril, he felt a flicker of understanding ignite within him. It was time to embrace the unknown, to walk into the light and face the shadows head on. Taking another deep breath, Kiran reached out and touched the Codex again, this time not with trepidation, but with a newfound sense of resolve. He closed his eyes, willing himself to open to its power, to delve into its ancient mysteries. He waited for the answers, unsure yet determined to learn the path ahead. A low hum permeated the chamber, intensifying as Kieran's fingers grazed the Codex's surface. 
The glyphs on its pages shimmered, the luminescent ink pulsing with a rhythm that seemed to echo within his own chest. Focus, Kieran. Sildis's voice, a gentle murmur amidst the thrumming energy, reached him. Let go of your fears and anxieties. The codex awaits your touch. He closed his eyes, picturing his village, the familiar warmth of the hearth, the laughter of children, the scent of ripening grain. His resolve hardened. This wasn't about him, it was about protecting the life he cherished. Taking a deep breath, Kieran willed himself to reach out further, to delve deeper into the swirling energy. Suddenly, the chamber was flooded with light. Runic symbols flared across the codex, painting intricate patterns on its worn leather cover. The air crackled with power, sending shivers down Kieran's spine. He stumbled back, momentarily disoriented. It... Did he react to me? he stammered, his voice barely a whisper against the cacophony of light and sound. Silda smiled, her obsidian eyes twinkling in the ethereal glow. You are more than you realize, Kieran. The Codex recognizes your connection to this land, your unwavering determination. She stepped closer, placing a reassuring hand on his trembling arm. Allow yourself to be guided. Trust the energy flowing through you. Hesitantly, Kieran reached out again, this time letting himself be enveloped by the light. It felt like being swept away in a torrent of emotions. A vast tapestry woven with threads of fear and courage, hope and despair, life and death. He saw images flashing before his mind's eye. Ancient battles fought, sacrifices made, whispers of forgotten lore echoing through the ages. The Codex hummed louder now, its voice resonating deep within his bones, filling him with a sense of awe and responsibility. He understood then, the fate of his village rested not just on retrieving the Codex, but on deciphering its secrets, understanding its ancient power. As he stood there, bathed in the ethereal light, Karen felt a profound shift taking place within him. It wasn't just the knowledge he was absorbing, it was something deeper, a calling that resonated through his very being. He was no longer just a farmer protecting his home, he was a guardian, a conduit, a conduit to an ancient power that could save his people or destroy them. The chamber pulsed with a low hum, vibrating against Kieran's very bones. He stood before the codex, its intricate glyphs shimmering like captured starlight. He held out his hand, hesitant at first, then let it rest gently against the cool leather cover. It's responding, Sildas confirmed, her voice a soft murmur amidst the thrumming energy. But to truly understand its power, you must delve deeper. The Codex seeks not just knowledge, but connection, a merging of wills. Kieran swallowed, his throat tight with apprehension. How? I don't even know where to begin. Sildas' obsidian eyes held his gaze their depths brimming with an ancient wisdom. Close your eyes, Kiran, she instructed. Focus on your village. Feel the warmth of your hearth, the laughter of children playing in the fields, the scent of freshly baked bread wafting from kitchens. Hold on to these memories, these connections that bind you to your people. He obeyed, sinking into the wellspring of his emotions. Images flashed through his mind, his father teaching him to till the land, the comforting rhythm of his mother's humming as she worked, the joyous cacophony of villagers gathered for celebrations, each memory a thread woven into the fabric of his heart, each one anchoring him to his purpose. Now, Sildis's voice echoed gently within his mind, let these emotions flow through you, becoming conduits. The Codex senses your devotion, your love for your people, allow it to amplify those feelings. Kiran felt a tingling sensation spread from his fingertips, travelling up his arms, flooding his chest with a warmth that transcended the physical realm. He imagined this warmth mingling with the Codex's energy, weaving together into a powerful tapestry of light and connection. It was like stepping through a veil, crossing a threshold between worlds. When he opened his eyes, the chamber had transformed. The runes on the Codex blazed with an intense brilliance, bathing the room in an ethereal glow. But it wasn't just the room that had changed. Kieran felt it within himself too, a surge of power coursing through his veins, awakening something ancient and slumbering deep within him. You're not merely touching the Codex, Silda said, her voice filled with awe. You are becoming one with its energy. The Emberthorn's legacy flows through you now. Kieran gazed at his hands, marvelling at their newfound luminescence, a warm golden light emanating from within. He knew this was just the beginning. 
he had taken his first step into a destiny far greater than he could have imagined. A sense of newfound purpose surged through Kieran. Sildas's words echoed in his mind. True worth is measured not by what we think, but by what we do. He could feel it within him, a resonance with the Codex, its ancient power pulsing like a second heartbeat. Where do we begin? he asked, his voice stronger than before, tinged with anticipation. Sildas smiled, her obsidian eyes shining with an inner light. The Codex speaks of a ritual, a conduit to open hidden pathways within the Emberthorn itself. It requires chanting specific glyphs in unison, channeling our combined energies. She retrieved a worn leather scroll from a pouch at her hip, unfurling it before Kiran. The parchment hummed faintly with an unnatural energy, as lines of intricate script danced across its surface. These are the glyphs, Sildas said softly, tracing them with a fingertip. Each one represents a facet of the Emberthorn's power. We must align our voices and intentions, weaving a tapestry of words and will to unlock its secrets. Kieran took a deep breath, feeling a rush of nervous energy mingled with excitement. He'd never dared to challenge anything like this before. The responsibility felt immense. But as he gazed into Sildis' unwavering gaze, he drew strength from her confidence in him. Lead the way, he said, his voice resolute. I trust you. Sildis nodded her posture steady and reassuring. She began to chant in a low, resonant tone, the melodic syllables rolling like waves across the chamber. A shiver danced down Kieran's spine as she spoke of ancient realms, hidden pathways, and slumbering forces. Kieran mirrored her movements, his voice trembling at first, then gaining strength and conviction with each syllable. The air crackled with energy as their voices intertwined, creating a symphony of sound that resonated deep within the heart of the Codex. As they reached the climax of the chant, the runes on the book's surface pulsed brighter, bathing the chamber in an incandescent glow. Kieran sensed a shift, a ripple in the very fabric of reality. The air shimmered, revealing a swirling vortex of light behind the Codex, a doorway to a place beyond his comprehension. His heart pounded with a mixture of fear and exhilaration. This was it the moment they had been preparing for, the gateway to harnessing the Emberthorn's power. He locked eyes with Sildis, her expression a blend of determination and anticipation. Their journey was only just beginning. The swirling vortex pulsed with raw energy, beckoning Kieran. Excitement warred with apprehension within him. A chill wind swept through the chamber, whistling through cracks in the ancient walls. Ready? Sildis's voice, usually calm and measured, was edged with a sliver of urgency. Karen swallowed, his throat dry. I, I think so. He glanced back at the Codex, its glowing runes swirling like celestial constellations, whispering promises of power, but hinting at potential dangers as well. Take heart, Sildas said, her obsidian eyes radiating warmth and conviction. Remember what we spoke of, true worth lies not in hesitation, but in stepping forward. She extended a hand towards Kieran. There is no fear here, only the thrill of discovery. Her touch sent a jolt through him, grounding him, reminding him why he was undertaking this perilous journey. He thought of his village, its people struggling against encroaching darkness. Hope rested on his shoulders. Taking a deep breath, Kiran laced his fingers with hers. A surge of power flowed between them, the air crackling with anticipation. As one, they stepped into the swirling vortex. Light exploded around them, blinding them momentarily. Then, just as quickly, it vanished, leaving them standing in a new landscape, a world bathed in amethyst hues. Towering trees with iridescent leaves reached towards a sky ablaze with twin moons. Strange flora pulsated with an ethereal glow, casting fantastical shadows that danced and swirled around them. Where? Where are we? Kieran breathed, awestruck by the alien beauty surrounding him. The air hummed with a vibrant energy, tingling against his skin. Sildis smiled, a flicker of mischief in her eyes. This, young Kieran, is the heart of the Emberthorn. She gestured to a path winding through the strange landscape, shimmering like molten gold. We have arrived. The air thrummed with unseen power, beckoning them forward. Karan's apprehension began to melt away, replaced by a burning determination to uncover the secrets this wondrous realm held, to harness its power and bring salvation back to his people. Taking another deep breath, Karan followed Sildis down the path eager to explore the mysteries that awaited. 
The air thrummed with a vibrant energy that seemed to pulse in sync with Kiran's own heartbeat. He walked beside Sildis, her steps light and sure as she navigated the luminous path through this fantastical landscape. Every detail was alien yet captivating. Iridescent flowers bloomed with soft luminescence, their petals shimmering like captured rainbows. The ground beneath their feet pulsed with a faint warmth, pulsing like a living heart. It's breathtaking, Kiran breathed, his eyes wide with wonder. Sildis smiled, her obsidian eyes glinting in the soft amethyst light. The emberthorn heart beats strong. Be mindful of its power, Kiran. It can both heal and destroy. A shadow crossed her features briefly. We have much to find here, but dangers lurk as well. Trust your instincts. They continued down the path, the air growing thicker with warmth and a palpable hum of energy with each step closer to their destination. Finally, the path opened into a vast clearing, bathed in the soft glow of twin moons, mirrored on a still lake of liquid crystal. In its centre stood an enormous tree, the emberthorn itself. Its branches reached towards the heavens, adorned with thousands of leaves that shimmered like constellations, casting shifting patterns of light across the clearing. The heart, Sildis murmured, her gaze fixed on the tree. As they approached, the air crackled with energy, and a deep rustling echoed through the clearing. Branches swayed, sending shimmering sparks dancing through the air. The leaves at the crown of the tree seemed to converge towards a central point, pulsing with light as if beckoning them closer. A voice, ancient and resonant, boomed through their minds. Seekers approach. State your purpose. Kiran felt a shiver run down his spine. He turned to Sildis, seeking guidance in her calm gaze. We seek the wisdom of the Emberthorn, Sildis said, her voice clear and strong despite the power thrumming around them. To learn its secrets and understand the threat against our world. The tree responded with a deafening crackle of energy, throwing them both back. When the light faded, a path of swirling luminescence had materialized from the heart of the tree, beckoning them forward. Proceed, the voice echoed softly. But be warned, the emberthorn reveals its truths to those who are worthy. Kiran and Sildis looked at each other, a silent understanding passing between them. They had come so far, faced so much to reach this moment. Together, they stepped onto the path, taking their first steps into the heart of the Emberthorn. The path of swirling luminescence pulsed with an energy that vibrated against Kiran's skin, a symphony of light guiding their way deeper into the heart of the Emberthorn. He could feel its power resonating through him, both exhilarating and unnerving. Sildis walked beside him, her dark silhouette outlined against the shifting patterns of light. The air around them crackled with anticipation. The closer we get, she said, her voice low and urgent, the stronger the whispers will be. Whispers? Kieran asked, his brow furrowing. What whispers? Sildis's obsidian eyes flickered. The wisdom of the emberthorn, she explained. It speaks in voices you may not always understand. She paused, her gaze fixed on something ahead. Be prepared to listen, Kieran. It chooses its bearers carefully. They emerged into a cavern bathed in an ethereal glow emanating from the colossal trunk of the emberthorn. Delicate vines, glowing with a phosphorescent light, snaked around ancient stone pillars that ran like veins throughout the cavern. Thousands of leaves shimmered above them, casting dancing patterns on the cave walls, each one pulsing with a soft inner warmth. In the centre of this luminous heart sat an immense crystal sphere perched atop a pedestal carved with intricate runes. It pulsed with light, its surface rippling like liquid sapphire. As they approached, the cavern filled with a quiet hum that resonated deep within their bones. Then, a voice, ancient and ethereal, echoed through the chamber. Children of Earth, it boomed, you seek the wisdom of the Emberthorn. The sphere pulsed brighter, and its light concentrated on Kiran, seemingly piercing his very soul. He stumbled back, his breath catching in his throat. Who? Who said that? he stammered. The heart speaks, Sildis murmured, her hand resting lightly on his arm, grounding him amidst the overwhelming sensation. Listen. The voice continued, its tone soothing but laced with ancient power. You have come seeking answers, young man with eyes full of hope and burdens heavy upon your shoulders. The wisdom you seek is not spoken in words alone. It is woven into the very fabric of existence, a tapestry of light and shadow. 
The sphere pulsed once more, focusing its luminescent glow on Kieran again. He closed his eyes, overwhelmed by a rush of sensations, images flashing through his mind, whispers of forgotten tales, echoes of lives lived and lost. But amidst all the chaos, one thought emerged clear as crystal. To save his village, he must embrace the Emberthorn's power. But with power comes great responsibility. It chooses, Silvus said, her voice low as a murmur, seemingly pulling Kiran back from the precipice of doubt. The heart of the Emberthorn, it sees potential. Kiran inhaled deeply, savouring the cool air that smelled faintly of moss and ozone. The rhythmic pulsing from the crystal sphere calmed his racing heart. And what does it see in me? he asked, unable to shake the feeling of inadequacy. Silda smiled, a knowing curve of her lips. It sees your dedication, Kiran, she said, placing a hand on his arm, her touch grounding him. It sees the fire that burns within you for your people. He met her gaze, drawn by the intensity in her obsidian eyes. He knew he wouldn't have undertaken this journey if not for the desperate pleas of his villagers, their faces etched with fear and reliance. His village depended on him. He couldn't let them down. But what good is fire without a path? Kieran asked, gesturing towards the cavern's intricate network of glowing veins and pulsating leaves. How do I reach this wisdom? How do I access the Codex? The Codex speaks, Sildis said, her voice resonating with an ancient wisdom that seeped into the very stone walls around them. It listens to the heart that seeks its truth. She tilted her head thoughtfully. You must quiet your doubts, Kieran. You must clear the noise of fear and self-questioning. The cavern pulsed with a renewed hum, as if echoing Sildis's words. A gentle breeze rustled the luminous leaves above them, whispering secrets in a language Kieran couldn't quite understand but felt deep within his soul. He closed his eyes, drawing on her words and letting the soothing vibration lull him into silence. He pushed the anxieties that clawed at his edges aside, focusing instead on the unwavering purpose that burned like a sun within him, the need to save his village. When he opened his eyes, the crystal sphere hung suspended in the centre of the cavern, pulsating with light. The vibrant threads of energy connecting it to the surrounding foliage seemed to weave an intricate tapestry, reflecting the beating of his own heart. Listen, Sildas said softly. Let the whisper guide you.